nice guys aren't actually nice. You know when a girl says that she thinks a guy is too nice and she's not attracted to him? The problem is never that the guy is actually too nice. The problem is the guy the problem is that the guy is desperate. The guy's desperate and needy. Okay? If the guy wasn't desperate and he was just nice, if he was a super confident alpha male and he was just very nice, being nice wasn't a problem. But the real problem is the fact that the guy was desperate. The guy was desperate to get some female attention because he doesn't have a lot of option in the ladies. And he tried so hard to get her attention that some instinct inside of her got triggered and she thought, wow, this guy sure is a loser. He's really desperate to get my attention. I'm not really attracted to losers. That's what happened. It sounds very harsh, hey? And I know what it can be like to be a guy that tries a little too hard because I've made that mistake in the past. So I'm not judging anyone, <laughs> but that is what happens, okay? It's not about being too nice. It's about being too needy and being too desperate. The same thing applies to when it doesn't come to trying to pick up a girl, but just other people. You know, there are all these people that are too nice because they're afraid to say no, right? We all know them. Maybe it's you, maybe it's someone you know. These people who are too nice to everyone. And people ask them things and they should be saying no because they don't want to do it, but they're afraid to say no because they always want to please other people. They're called people pleasers, right? The same logic applies. These people aren't actually nice, but they're just insecure. The reason they can't say no isn't because they're so nice and they can't say no. No. The reason they can't say no is because they're afraid to say no. They don't have the confidence to stand up for themselves. They don't have the backbone to do that. And trying to always please other people is a way of trying to get validation from those people because they are insecure and they need that validation. That is what it really is. It is being insecure, needing validation, and not having the confidence to stand up for yourself. Insecurity. That's what it is. It's essentially insecurity. It has nothing to do with actually being nice. It's just about being insecure. And so if you are someone that is too nice, whether that be towards other people, you're a people pleaser, or you struggle to, um, to seduce the girls because you're a nice guy and girls think that you're too nice. I think that changing yourself starts by acknowledging this harsh truth to yourself. Okay? You have to stop telling yourself that you're too nice. And you have to admit to yourself that the real problem that you have is the fact that you're a bit insecure. You're a bit insecure and you're a little desperate to get some attention from the girls. That's where it all starts, right? You cannot change yourself if you don't admit the problem that you are having. And so if the real problem that you have is the fact that you're insecure and that is the thing that you need to admit and that is the thing that you need to change. That's where it starts. And then once you've admitted that, you can take small steps to improve yourself. Now, confidence is this thing that you are going to have to work on in general, right? You can't just do a magical trick to become more confident, but this is something that you have to build up throughout your whole life by working on yourself. I mean, yes, it's partially a mental thing as well, but your confidence is largely a reflection of what you do on a daily basis and the way that you perceive yourself. If you think that you're a loser because you constantly see yourself doing the things that you don't want to do, right? You always fap to porn even though you want to quit porn. You play video games all the time even though you'd like to do other things like going to the gym or maybe socialize with people more or whatever or start your own business or whatever. But you constantly see yourself doing the bad habits and not working towards your goals. Then you are going to have a very negative image of yourself and you are not really going to have any confidence. 
going to a psychologist, like to a therapist or whatever, is not going to help you. Unless that is a very good therapist and that therapist actually stimulates you to change your life, which some of them do. I'm not saying that therapists in general are useless. But my point is that your confidence is largely a reflection of your lifestyle. And that if you don't change your lifestyle, then going to a therapist and trying mental tricks is not going to work. Lifestyle is number one, okay? Now, for some of you guys out there who have like deep traumas or whatever, going to a therapist might work because you might need to do some like mental rearranging. But for most people, 99% most of, of young guys who are a bit insecure, working on your lifestyle is going to change a whole fucking lot. Because to start by doing that, set some goals, start working towards those goals, and stop constantly indulging in bad habits all the time. Now, you also have to be realistic about it, right? I mean, if you're trying to quit porn and you're making a lot of progress, but then you relapse after like one month or something, that's also something that happens, right? You shouldn't be unrealistic and think, oh my God, I'm a loser. No, I mean, you should be realistic about it and think, oh, well, great, I've made progress. I've went for a fucking month and then I relapsed this one time. Not such a big deal. Pick myself up and keep going, okay? So be realistic as well. But the essence of it is quit the bad habits, start working towards your goals, build up that backbone, build up that lifestyle, and you will automatically become more confident, which will reflect itself in the social aspect of your life as well. And then, well, not then, you can start doing this right away. But another thing that you should probably do is uh, start practicing becoming more confident and actually saying no in practice towards other people. This is, this is something you can practice, right? And confidence, there's two types of confidence. There is like broad confidence, like universal confidence, but there's also situational confidence. Universal confidence has a lot of influence on situational confidence. But there might always be these situations where we are like disproportionately more or less confident. So you should work on your universal confidence by changing that lifestyle, like I just explained. But you should probably also practice your situational confidence where you actually practice social situations and learn to say no. Now, the thing about learning to say no that people don't quite realize is that you can start very, very small. Okay. If you struggle to say no and you don't know how to change this, then, then don't worry about the big no's, the big answers that you have to give, but just start looking for these tiny opportunities where saying no doesn't really matter that much, right? Where you just know that the person who asks you whatever is not going to care whether you say yes or no. And normally you would be afraid to say no, but now you just do it anyway, okay? And you start practicing saying very small no's. And then as you get into this habit of saying no more often, you will become more confident about it and it will get become easier to start saying the bigger no's as well, eventually. And over time, as you practice, start, practice saying the small no's and at the same time work on your lifestyle, your confidence will go up. And eventually you will become less nice in a good way. You won't actually become less nice. You'll still be ni as nice as you are, but you will become less insecure and you will become less desperate. And so therefore you will no longer be the guy that is too nice.